What's up guys, it's XBM Connect here. Now, part four of the Xfluence Cody 17 uh, Krypton custom build for your own, uh, all your devices that you wanna build on. Um, basically, um, we've gone through a bunch already, widgets, sub menus, and home menus. Now, what we wanna do is change the, the background of it, right? So what we're gonna go to do is system, go to skin settings, we're gonna background artwork. Now from here you could go global, meaning uh, all your menus will show this uh, screen obviously now if you want the single image you could actually click it and choose a different one so let's go ahead and choose something like this right so that's global background meaning that I'll just all of it will just change to that now if you want it to be a multi image basically you're gonna go to um, multi-image and then um, obviously you don't have a folder of it so what we're gonna do is actually uh, put our put our very own uh, wallpaper folders onto it so I have a folder right here and you can see there's a bunch of um, wallpapers right there right there right but in order to put that into Kodi itself um, I'm running on a Mac um, you could actually go to the library section, go to app application support and Kodi, and then you're gonna go to add-ons. From there, you're actually gonna go all the way down where it says skin exfluence, and you're gonna go to backgrounds. From here, you could actually drop the folder of wallpapers into there, and then you have it all right here. Now, for Android devices, I would suggest using ES File Explorer, and then just make sure you uh, choose the option to show hidden files and you'll be able to get to th this uh, section of the add-ons which will be on um, Android and um, something else but I'll, I'll have a link with with all the options of showing from Windows Mac Android devices iOS to get to this section of the um, Kodi itself because this is what you really need is this section right here so now that we put the wallpapers in there, um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a single image and go back and go to choose backgrounds and uh, the wallpapers. And these are all my wallpapers that I downloaded, right? So we're gonna go ahead and choose that one basically as my global. So that's just one. Now if you wanted to uh, make it a uh, change into it to where um, to just the wallpaper changes basically all you have to do is go to skin settings go to um, multi image and go to wallpapers once you're in the wallpapers folder then go ahead and click OK and then from time to time obviously it's gonna change so let's give it a few seconds while I just go through it as you can see it could change right there now if you have a background and you don't want this whole like black look and the whole color and all everything you could actually go into the settings section and go into uh, interface and go to the theme uh, the theme you could actually gray kryptonite and all that stuff so we're gonna go ahead and just choose the gray one choose uh, colors of uh, could do fire and uh, skin default you could choose any of them obviously to the way it looks so from there that's what it looks I um there's mods that you could actually use a different color but I just usually just go with the default ones I mean it, to me it's just uh, just that's how it's supposed to look right uh, little cosmetics here and there you could actually do with with um, all that stuff now the, the other things is in the add-on section or like this this is kind of blank right here there's no uh, bar or anything you, you could actually change that by going to um, global skin and going to uh, enable home floor you know if it, you can see that it enabled it disabled so let's just show you right there the bottom and then let's go to 
enabled so it just stays right there as you can see I usually just have it um, disabled just a better look to, to, to my opinion and um, if you want you could actually uh, change the the border size and all that stuff but that's just little cosmetics here and there now you could actually change the main font color and the OSD color which is the the, the, the colors that you see right now and stuff um, the home screen right here default focus menu you could actually uh, focus on a certain thing that it goes to the TV if you want now if you want low main menu bar which I'll show you that right now brings it to the low section which is kind of weird because when your add-ons show up it's with the um, stuff like that so it's not to, to me it's kind of kind of off and so I don't use that wrap around it just goes on straight to all the way through so if I go it's non-stop to me I like the the hole where, where it stops and lets me know that I've already made it now visible horizontal sub menus I just leave that to where it is um, transparency you could have a skin default or whatever I just usually just use skin default and stuff like that there's a lot a lot of stuff to play around with with this um, section and stuff so let's say you did finish everything that you wanted to, to do on this um, build and you don't want people to mess with it the way you could do it is just enable kiosk mode and they won't be able to mess with the the settings at all and stuff like that so now for for tablets if you want floor buttons basically um, you can see right there it pops up the bottom right corner so you could actually easier section and stuff like that now let's go ahead and clean up uh, videos and programs and systems like that right so what we're gonna do is clean that up we're gonna go to um, sub menus and go to the system settings and take off this one take off this one take off this what you primarily want is just uh, settings file manager and add-on browser so that's basically it. Uh, now we're gonna have to actually back up and um, this is more of the complicated stuff on part five. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel and like our videos and follow us on Twitter at XBM Connect to keep up with the updates.